Hey beauties, I just wanted to let you know that this is a makeup tutorial and I'm going to be voiceovering it. So this is um, Clinique's Step 3 Moisturizing Lotion. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my face and really rub it in as you can tell. This is MAC Painterly. It's a paint pot and I'm just going to put this on my eyelash on my eyelids and just smooth it all out it gives you a good base color and it's just like a primer I don't use other primers because I love this product and I think it does what it needs to do this is essence um, eyebrow pencil obviously in the color brown and I just to start out I draw the bottom line and then I just begin to color it in. And then on top, I just draw another line outlining my eyebrow. This is mainly because I am missing hair in the arch because of a scar. So I really have to color it in quite a bit just to sh make it look like a whole eyebrow. I'm just cleaning it up with my finger. Now I'm taking the brush and just smoothing it out, lightening it a little bit and blending it all together, making it look wispy. And this is both of my eyebrows done. I'm adding a Maybelline highlighter. I love this one because of the shape of the highlight. It just goes on really, really well. It matches my skin perfectly. Not that you can tell that at this moment, but I'm about to blend it in. I'm just using my fingertip. It's really the best way. You don't have to really worry about if you get it in your eyebrow because you will fix that later. So now I'm going to go back and just make sure that the highlight is covered up with the eyebrow and that it looks good. This is my Huda Beauty Palette um, in Rose Gold. I love this palette. I don't have a lot of the palettes that are as expensive as this one. I begged, literally begged for this for Christmas. And thankfully I got it and I'm very happy for it. So I'm just taking one of the redder colors in this palette and going over my lower lid, just blending it out a little bit. Now I'm taking my Kristen Leanne palette and going in with an orange color and just imagine yourself drawing a triangle laying down. And that's how you kind of get the point that you or that I'm doing. I just keep going over it with that color and blending it. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and go in with a dark blue. And I'm just going to line my eyes with this. Thank God for handheld mirrors because I literally cannot see any other way. I would like have lines all over my face if I didn't hold a mirror. So yeah, I'm just like making sure I have this on my lower line. And now I'm going to go in with the lighter color over the top and just follow that natural line of my eye. But stay above the color that I already put. So you're truly going to get a makeup look that is authentic to the way I always do my makeup which I don't really have a plan going in I just like see the colors and I'm like let's try this today and let's see what it happens and how it comes out so now I'm taking the Leanne palette and using the purple color and I'm just gonna do my inner crease and the outside line, I'm just going to do that triangle shape a little bit, but not close it. And I'm just going to keep going over this until I get the desired color that I want. I really, truly am just playing with makeup at this point, trying to find the look that I wanted. 
I'm going back in with my blending brush and blending all of that together. And honestly, my brush had a darker color on it. So now I'm just like, okay, let's make this darker. <clears throat> I'm using a makeup wipe to just clean up the line a little bit so I can tell what I'm doing. Going back in with this palette and adding color to lighten it, I believe, and just blend it all together. This is so typical me. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. You can or can't do this, whatever. It makes them a little curled. It makes them longer looking, I feel. I'm using the Voluminous Waterproof Black Mascara. This is a really good mascara. I'll have it in the description box. Um, it is waterproof, so beware when you're taking it off that it is hard to remove. I'm going to go back in with this palette using a dark navy bluish color. And I'm just going to do my upper lash line first. This just defines your eye. And you can do it with a black eyeliner pencil. Or you can do it with eyeshadow like I'm doing. I just wanted that pop of color from the blue while also getting the line look. So that I was just doing the waterline at the bottom. And this is the finished. So that is Hangover by Too Faced Primer. So lately I've been using the NYX Matte Finishing Spray to put on my Beauty Blender or the Knock Off Beauty Blender. Um, this is my Clinique foundation. I really love this foundation. It's lightweight. You can build on it. I just start out by spotting it all over my face. And then I'm going in and I'm going to blot until I age. Literally. I'm growing older as we speak. Voila. I'm almost done. And I'm just cleaning up my eye shadow line and now blotting in on my cheeks this literally can age you but if you do it right your skin will look perfect and you'll be all the more happier with your look try not to rub and pull the foundation away from your face you want to blot toward the middle now I'm going in with the one thing I cannot live without which is my Maybelline brightener and I just do upside down triangles and then I do like a V in my forehead area to lighten around my eyebrows. This really is one of my can't live without products. So to blend out this brightener, you can use your fingertips, but I find that I like to use the beauty blender and I just pretend that I am just literally lightening my face and bringing joy to the world <laughs> but yes um, I'm just blotting it out I add a little bit to around my mouth and I'm apparently forgetting to blot out the arrow on top because I am baking which I should not do but sometimes when I use especially this foundation, I feel like I need to bake. But for you older ladies, I will say that baking is becoming something that I don't do very often due to it gets into the fine lines. And we don't want that to happen now, do we? So I finally decided to blend this out. And I am finished, apparently. I'm just taking an e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to go in with my blush that I apparently don't show you. And I'm just going to take it from my cheeks to my hairline. I know a lot of people don't do that, but for me, I've always done this technique, and it works for me. 
So now I am fidgeting around trying to find something. <clears throat> My Kristen Leanne highlight palette, apparently. I just kind of take all these colors and mix them together. The lighter one obviously being something I use more most. But I think for this particular day, I just mix them all together. And I'm just going in above my blush on my highlight line. I just kind of take it everywhere. I put it on my nose, my cupid's bow. I'm going back in and adding more because I'm extra. I love the highlight above my eye on the side, so I always take it up. And this is Essence Eyebrow Mascara Gel. I'm just putting it in to keep my eyebrows in place, and so when I rub them throughout the day, the color will stay put. This is a really great product. So I'm going back in with my mascara. Apparently it wasn't dark enough the first time. And just adding to the bottom lashes especially they can sometimes get light when you're using the brightener now I'm using my matte NYX finishing spray to set everything in place this is my NYX pink lip liner I'm just going to line my lips and then color them in this helps your lipstick just stay put all day when you color it in it's a technique that I like I don't always do it but and I'm just still coloring trying to get a full even color and now I'm going in with Too Faced Melted and I'm just gonna go over the top of it this color is so pretty. I have very hot pink lips and I'm showing you that I am finished and I'm realizing, oh, my hair. Look at me, I'm all done up. <laughs> I hope that you get some tips from this. So now this is me just putting on my glasses I'm finally seeing my face for the first time and now I'm taking down my curled hair that I pre-curled and I'm just combing through it. I don't really know what to do with my hair on any given day. Today it looks like I'm particularly annoyed with it. What you're not seeing is the handfuls of hair that fall out. So, as usual, my hair did not hold the curl too well. So I'm going back in and just touching it up. This is my life. I curl constantly. And now I'm obsessing with my lips. My hair. I will be so glad when it really takes curl again. I wonder if this has something to do with old age. Does that happen to you? Does your hair just stop curling at some point? Well, now I've curled it and I think I might be happy with it. Do you like it? <laughs> now I'm going to show you my makeup without my glasses again. This is just the typical makeup guru eye poses and face poses. I was just being ridiculous. If you stuck with me, thank you for watching. Don't forget, be your own beautiful.